All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm in Adventure Quest, a three day. I love this pumpkin in the middle. It looks way better than the normal fountain. Hopefully, they do this for every event. They replace the fountain with something cool. Um, we are going to be talking about the new PC UI coming to your K3D. I know a lot of people play on PC. Uh, the game's also available on iOS and both Android. I'd recommend playing it on a tablet, not a phone. I tried to play it on my phone. Not the greatest experience, but a lot of people have been asking for PC UI, so take a quick look at this one because I'm about to show you a, not a finished version, but a early version of the new PC UI and also uh, it's a little bit of a hint at new features to come to AQ3D. So let's look at the new UI. <laughs> All right, so here we why do why do I still have AQ3D open? Okay, noises in the background, not the greatest thing, especially AQ3D noises, not my favorite noises. So uh, we have a little look at this. So I don't know. Okay, let's start with the bottom corner. I'm in Photoshop. If you don't know what program this is, uh, it helps me zoom in. We can enhance, enhance. And yeah, I didn't take the screenshot, Artix did, so don't complain about the resolution, please. It's, I think it's like, it's less than 720p resolution, the screenshot. So, uh, this is the bottom left hand of the screen, so this will be in the bottom, yeah, what I just said. Uh, we have the same button that looks like it's from a smartphone, so not the greatest thing to have on a PC UI. Uh, but I don't know if that's a pop-out menu, because I don't think you would need the settings icon on your screen at all times. So this might be a pop-out menu, and you can, uh, I think you can hotkey, like, uh, all these buttons to your keyboard anyway, so I don't think you need to click on any of these options, and I think you can just click ESC for the settings. So this might be a pop-out menu in the bottom corner. Uh, and as we move around to your hotbar, let me, let me zoom, well, let's zoom, uh, out a little bit. Let's go to, like, 60%. Boom. All right. So here's the hotbar. Uh, that'll be below your character. Right now, it's kind of in the bottom well, left-hand corner over here where this stuff is. It's like in this corner. Uh, so they moved it to the middle. It'd be nice if they let you uh, customize the uh, UI. Uh, UI stands for user interface. It's all these buttons you see on the screen, basically. So uh, you have your two potions, which that is an improvement before you would have to go into the menu on the side here. You have to click on this, go into the menu, and then use your potions, but now uh, both your mana and health potions are on your bar, along with an extra skill. So normally in the game, there's four skills. There's five skills right here. So and an auto attack, of course. So one of these is not your auto attack. Uh, some people might have thought that, but it's not because the auto attack's right there, and they're using the exact same icon for the auto attack. Although that might be, uh, it's a fine icon. I, it doesn't really match the other ones, but I don't think it needs to. Uh, looks good though, and it looks pretty nice. So the chat right here, the chat is in the bottom uh, left-hand corner. Uh, before, it was in the top right up here. We'll get to that in a second. So now it's in the bottom corner. Um, that's, I think, almost every PC game you play has a chat in the bottom uh, left-hand corner, right? Um, I'm trying to think of one that doesn't. Uh, some of them actually, uh, some first-person shooters I play have in the top uh, left, but... The bottom left is where AQW has it, so it makes sense for AQ3D to have it the same. Uh, and then we have a settings icon for your chat menus. And there's a party chat, very requested. That also ties in with what's on your screen right here. This would be your party. If you've played uh, Venture Quest Worlds, they have the exact same system where it'll show all your party members here. And at this instance, they're all the same person. <laughs> so I think this is just a quick Photoshop that uh, Artix did. So they're all the same person. Of course, this is not the finished UI. This is just an example of what the finished UI could be. This is what Rx tweeted out. So in the main chat, or which will probably be what, like whatever room you're in, the chat for that room. And of course, your party chat, your party could be in a different room and you could still talk to them. That's what party chat's mainly used for, especially if you're not on like Discord or something with your party members. And a trade chat. So this... There's not a lot of things a trade chat in an MMO could mean. Um, 
and it, it could not it might not even be a trait it this might just be an easter egg in the screenshot honestly because that'd be so easy to just photoshop that in there so this could be a easter egg just for the screenshot because i don't think why would you put a trade why would you need a trade chat because you could i guess that if they don't want trading to be happening like people like uh to be trading in main chat maybe but there's a trade chat so if you're looking to trade items that would be the chat to go in uh so uh, of course some items aren't going to be tradable that's pretty blatant pretty you can you can put two and two together and figure out like super rare items and like stuff you got for backing a kickstarter other items like that probably won't be tradable but maybe like hard to get items in the game could be tradable like say you need a certain crafting material that's hard to get and you have a sword that's hard to get and you want to trade that with someone to get that super hard crafting material or something like that you can trade them uh the weapon that's hard to get for the crafting material that's hard to get and then you do the trade trades complete hopefully they have a few hopefully they make it so it's the least uh e so it's pretty hard to scam with it like uh double authentication or not double authentication i really don't like how steam does their authentication for trading but if as long as they make sure that you have to confirm it and like you can't like remove and replace items quickly or anything like that it should be fine uh for trading and i'm super excited for trading i've been wanting it since uh, they announced that they're working on this game even before it was called adventure quest 3d so uh the top right we have our party thing uh your health is now in the top left hand corner before i think it was in the bottom middle like right here i think i think it was right here if I'm not mistaken. And Artix also confirmed on Twitter that you'll be able to, uh, well, he didn't confirm, but he told someone that you could be able to turn your name on and off in the settings, like an option. So if you're taking screenshots or something, uh, you can turn your name off so your name doesn't show up because it's kind of annoying seeing your name there when you're trying to take a screenshot. I know I've run into that issue already. And they changed how the quest box looks. It's now see, uh, clear, uh, not 100% opacity. On that so that is my look at the new UI I don't know if I missed anything if I did please leave a comment down below uh, we got a few I'll just do a quick recap um, it looks like I don't think this will be the finished thing honestly in the bottom corner I think that's just a little like thing but hopefully that there isn't that button on your screen that's kind of annoying hopefully they'll let you customize it in the settings uh, like it seems like you could hotkey all these and you know if you couldn't like I don't know, it, it would seem like that would be a lot easier. Hopefully they add hotkeys for this stuff. Uh, they added potions, there's a fifth skill here. Uh, the, it's in a better spot, of course. Uh, there's trade chat, party chat, main chat, chat settings. Uh, you got party system is, uh, looks like, it, this looks like they photoshopped it. Cause there can't be that many characters with the same name. And they move the health bar. So basically it's just looking very, 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 uh, very, a lot of varies. It's just it's it's way better than before. That's what I'm trying to say. Way better than before. So I really like this UI. Uh, tell me what you think about the UI in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching the video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow all my social media links in the description. Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Um, I stream on Twitch sometimes. I post all the videos to Facebook and Twitter is where I talk about dumb shit and also post videos and tell you when I'm streaming there. So if you want to follow me there, go ahead and do so. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Oh yeah, click the top right corner for the last video I uploaded. Bye.